Hey, what is up guys, MG Nitty here. In this video, I'm gonna be exploring the best camera application for Cyanogen Mod ROMs. The name of the app is Camera Next Mod. The credit of the app development goes to Abhi Gandhi and Prathamesh. This video is exclusively for you users like you, you, Eureka, you, you, Porian, OnePlus users like OnePlus One, OnePlus Two, OnePlus X, etc. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If yes, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and Android tricks, tips, and hacks. Come on, let's begin. First of all, you need to visit the link given in the description of the video below and download the file and make sure you have copied that file in your phone. After doing that, make sure you know the path of the downloaded file or where the file is exactly located in your phone. I have the file in my download folder. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch off my phone. And I'm going to press all the three buttons volume up, volume down, and power button simultaneously so that I will get into recovery mode. It doesn't matter if you have any other recoveries like DWRP and etc. I'm using CWM recovery here. After entering CWM recovery, go to install zip file. Either you have to go to internal storage, which is named SD card here, or the external storage or the memory card named SD card one. After that, you need to locate the file which you have downloaded earlier. In my case, I have downloaded the file in my downloads folder and press install button. After that, the flashing begins. After the flashing process completes, reboot your phone as I did. You can reboot your phone by going back and pressing power button on reboot system now. After your phone reboots, you will be having this particular app in your menu or the app drawer, which is nothing but the new flashed camera as you can see there I can get into the camera I can take some pictures and have some fun with that uh, now I'm gonna be talking about the features special features of this particular camera application uh, in the settings tab in the camera you have a lot of customization options like shutter speed you can select a lot of shutter speed which is very helpful for professional photographers and even ISO and denoiser is present and uh, in the picture tuning you can see sharpness contrast and other features are present which are very very helpful sometimes and even after that we can see the radar reduction option which is a very very useful tool for any photography during night time unlike the default camera app this particular app allows you to record a video of almost any video length what i mean is in default eureka camera application the maximum duration up to which you can record a video was up to 10 minutes that's all which was a very great problem for videographers but in this camera you, you can even uh, record a videograph of up to 24 hours which is a very very great feature and even we have video stabilization and rest of the settings are same as the default camera application here are the few photos that i took from both the cameras that is from default camera and the new camera that we flashed now you can see that the first one is taken from the default camera application text which is not clear is taken from the default camera and this is the one which is taken from the new camera application you can see it after zooming it you can even see the text the whole text line clearly without any problems and going to the second photo this is the one taken from the default camera you cannot see the barcodes on the pen it is blurred but uh, as you as you can see here this is the image taken from the new camera app you can see each and everything clearly i think you have enjoyed the video if you have any questions regarding any of the processes or anything related to this particular apk you can comment right below in the comment section and i will reply as soon as possible thank you for watching subscribe our channel if you want to receive more videos on android tips tricks and hacks